Well, it's, uh, <coughs> it's Saturday the 12th of June 2021 and here's the Spirit of the Outback train. It seems to me as if it might be shorter than usual, but I'll go and have a quick look at it. It's going in another 10 minutes. Another quick look uh, around. That's the two locomotives and the power van, the baggage. We have a look and we see the rest of the concerts, but I've got a feeling that there's a couple of cars short in this. Well, I was right. There is at least one car short. The lo lounge car is missing from this train. Some of my rail enthusiast friends online might like to uh, tell me what happened about that. Also of interest is Customers the fact on platform 10, this is the five minute boarding call from the Spirit of the Outback service to Long Range. If you have a valid ticket, please make your way to your allocated seat. Yeah, all right. If you're on the train visiting, please just embark and stand well clear of the yellow safety tiles. Yeah, all right. Now that's two dining cars on the train, but no lounge car. The dining car, the first one we had a look at, is actually for the two sitting cars. It's acting as a snack bar car. Now one of the staff told me that the lounge car is either off getting repairs or is getting renovated as she put it. So somebody with a bit of knowledge on this could uh, put some comments in, you know, in the comments section and uh, clarify uh, what is actually happening here. So I'm about to get it going. It is about to go. Uh, this train is uh, obviously the best train in Queensland with sleeping and dining cars. So today, no lounge, but normally a lounge car and, and a couple of sitting cars as well, also known as coach cars in the United States. by the dining car the first class and the economy class dining car following up that and the two sitting cars to conclude this train 